Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to let you know that this video was brought to you by Manscaped. Big Manscaped in the building. Lawnmower 3.0s, Lawnmower 4.0s, all of that stuff you need, man. Use code Brunson, say 20% off, get the free shipping. And the free shipping, I fought for that for y'all. So listen, man, you know we got this draft coming up. This draft is coming up. The combine is before the draft and all of that stuff. The Philadelphia Eagles have so many holes to fill that almost anything could be a concern at this point. I'm telling you, the holes are alarming. It's, it's crazy. When you think about who you're going to possibly draft versus what's going to be left on the table, because you can't really, really undoubtedly, you know, you you can't focus on one area that has the holes without leaving somebody out. Meaning, you know you need wide receivers. Either you're going to have to draft them or, or get them in free agency. You know you need linebackers. You either have to draft them or get them in free agency. You know what I'm saying? And none of them are certain because people draft before you. People draft after you. You know what I mean? People got needs too. People are more attractive destinations for free agents. There's no way, even with the three first round picks, that the Philadelphia Eagles can effectively, in my opinion, fill every hole. It's just no way, which is why you got to consider in this draft and a draft like this. People say, all right, you got 12 picks. Just pick one player per position that needs attention. Yeah, you can do that. Sure, you can. But you could possibly also double down on one group and make that group be able to, you know, kind of overshadow problems that affect another group. You got to be really, really smart about this, man. It's a lot of people that's getting a lot of money to fix this draft, to fix this roster. I mean, and it got to start with the draft and with free agency. So it's a tremendous pressure on Howie Roseman. For example, you know you need edge rushers. You were second to last in sacks. I just can't believe we were that bad. A team who getting 50 a game. We were trash at getting to the quarterback last year. You could double down on the edge rusher position if it's absolutely somebody that you can't, you know what I'm saying, pass up on. And you could affect your secondary by doing something like that. If y'all get into the quarterback, then dudes ain't got the car uh, dudes ain't got a um, cover long. Stuff like that. And you got a hole that's about to be there at safety. Both of your safeties are on the free agent list. You could draft a safety or you could sign a safety in free agency. And the way I look at this is that, you know, signing a safety or a wide receiver in free agency, I think that's the best way possible. I I personally don't want to be in a situation to where we're drafting another wide receiver in the first round, then we waiting for him to develop cuz there's a learning curve there. I want a proven guy at wide receiver. You could get away with that with safety. You know what I mean? Especially if you also bolster in your edge, you can get away with that at safety. Because the safeties that we have have to step up next year. I really project Epps to get a lot of playing time this year. Epps will get much more playing time this year. You know what I mean? Kayvon Wallace still got some learning to do as well. You know what I mean? You can't wait for that to happen for, for, forever. So my question to you all as Eagles fans is this. What do you do? What, what, what do you do? Do you set a priority list now? Well, these are the positions we drafting and these are the positions we're going to attack in free agency because you can't get it all done in the draft. What's more important? What position group do you think actually needs to be attacked in free agency versus being drafted? All of that stuff. I'm pretty sure all these conversations are happening in the building. I can't be the only I can't I can't be just be thinking about this. You know, I'm a YouTuber. I can't. Uh, if I'm thinking about it, I expect these guys to be thinking about that. So if something automatically doesn't happen on draft night, don't be upset. If you don't see a linebacker drafted at all during the draft by the Philadelphia Eagles, which I think is highly unlikely, don't be upset because they must. You got to give them the benefit of the doubt. They must have a plan to attack this in free agency. We know Howie Roseman is going to try to be cheap with at least two of these positions that got holes. Probably wide receiver. You know what I mean? And and, and and he's probably going to be trying to cheat with wide receiver and safety. He's going to try to bring Anthony Harris back or something like that. But it's a lot of safeties out here in this draft that I feel like the Philadelphia Eagles could really, really benefit from. I'm sorry, free agent uh, safeties that I feel like we could really, really benefit from. I like the Honey Badger. I like Quandre. It's, it's a lot of people that I like. But the Honey Badger is, is going to be up there. But when you look at the list and you see two Eagles guys on this list, it's just kind of disheartening. Because you know you got to get a safety, a free and a strong. And either one, you need one. You know what I mean? So many holes to fill on this list, man. So let me know what y'all would do in the comment section as far as drafting versus, you know, signing a free agency, man. And what positions would you draft and what positions would you sign free agency? You know the vibes, man.